So I got excited while catching a fish with my other pole and this one was on the ground and I stepped on it, it snapped it. So we're gonna fix it. Here's what you need. Your broken pole, of course. Um, a, another pole that you don't care about that you can take a chunk out of. So I've got this old ugly stick I've been tearing up to fix things. Um, some resin mix, uh, you got your formula and your hardener, then you've got, um, sandpaper, some, some of this, uh, fishing pole thread for rod winding and something to cut the old pole with. These scissors work pretty good. They're she scissors. Um, you can get them online, I think still, or Amazon. The first step is to find a piece of the old pole that, the, that you can fit your break into kind of snuggly it doesn't have to be perfect but it should it should be should be a nice distance on each side so it looks like this might work I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right here and see if they'll fit in there right, the more I look at this I think I'm gonna go a little further down here about right here now, this fiberglass is tough you gotta really work it starting to get through there Yep, good and snug, perfect. Now we need to cut the other side for the other end here. Just kind of spinning it as I cut, chunk in there. Perfect, yep, nice and snug, good, cool. I'm gonna sand everything down. Just get it nice and smooth there. Now when it comes to threading time, I like to put a little Dab a super glue here to hold the thread end and just give a little bit of little foundation to the grip. Now you can let the thread hang past. You can have a, an end here. It's no big deal because we can just trim it off once we're done. Now I just spin it like so. Hold it taut. Just spin it on there until it starts to build up and then go down. Yeah, nice and slow. You want to cover up on each side really good until it goes over the gap. But honestly, the ones I do are really ugly, but I don't give a shit. Uh, they work. So we're just going to wrap and wrap and wrap until we feel good about it. All right, that looks good to me. Put a little glue there. Right, now we just rotate. see it ain't pretty but it's tight and it's solid and who gives a shit about pretty definitely not the fish so next we need to mix up our resin uh, the kit I bought came with a syringe for each I've got a old sauce container here that I washed out really good whatever you use is gonna get thrown away so whatever now you can mix up as much as you want you need to use one part of each though. So I just do one ounce of each. One of the, of the main resin. Now I put this on a paper towel. You do not want this one to touch the other one. You're also going to need a couple other things you can throw. All this is going to need to get thrown away, so don't use anything you're expecting to save. Um, now we need to mix it up. Now, you don't want to get a lot of air bubbles in there, but I've never been able to do this and not get air bubbles in there, and I also haven't had any problems. I've fixed a few poles already, some guides, and I've used them for fishing and caught fish and haven't had them break again. But you got to mix it for a while, about a good minute. All right, so it's got cloudy and now it's starting to get a little clear again. We're pretty close. Now let's paint it on our pole. Okay, time to paint. The thread really sucks it up, so it's not that hard to get it on there. Turn it as you did. Like I said, you really don't have to do this prettily i mean if you're ocd about how your fishing poles look then sure take your time do it pretty 
but this works great. I've, I've fixed up a few poles with no issues doing it the ugly way. I'll show them to you in a minute. It takes about 24 hours to dry and cure. So you gotta let it sit. I keep mine sitting inside in the cool air, not outside in the humid Florida garage like my wife wants me to. Nope. I need these things to be in some nice dry air so they can really cure up fine. Now these dangling tendrils, I'll cut them off after it's all done. I just want this to get good and hard and fixed. All right, that should be plenty, more than enough. But better safe than sorry, right? I'll do one more dab on the other side. That yeah, looks good to me. Now we just want to let that, just let it cure. That's all it takes. I'll show you a finished product. Now here's one I did last night. Fixed up an old St. Croix. And these things are hard already. Hard as they are tough, dude. They are not going anywhere. So it's an ugly stick, all right, but it, it works great. And this one I did a few nights ago. I've already caught probably a dozen snook on it since I fixed it. Again, it's ugly. But man, it works great. And it's solid. And then this one fix the guide on this one and it, it's working great too just trim down and sand down the extra thread that got stuck in there but it is solid man my, my wife caught a 40 inch snook on this last night not even kidding and that's all there is to it so i hope you find this enjoyable um and helpful and feel free to subscribe i'm gonna be posting a lot of fish videos and just general do-it-yourself stuff that i do with my boat and my fishing stuff so cheers